when I was first, shortly after I was first elected lieutenant governor in, two, in 2000. And uh, Dr. Rattay, I don't I think was working in state government at the time. We're recognizing her today and I have an award that I'm gonna present that recognizes her as the longest serving state public health official in the United States. But it's more than just a long tenure. It's the incredible service and leadership that she has provided, particularly over the last year. I had a conversation back in 2001 with one of Dr. Rattay's uh, predecessors as the director of public health. And I asked this physician, what was the thing that she was most concerned about? Dr. Rattay has heard me tell this story before. And she said she was most concerned about a global flu pandemic because she said we were due for one. And she was very concerned about it. I went to all of our emergency preparedness manuals to, to look up what we were putting in place there and the challenges that we might face and the challenges that were faced a century before and the pandemic in the 2017, 2018 period in time. And I became incredibly focused and concerned about hospital capacity. Uh, Dr. Rattay, remember going back to this COVID-19 when we first uh, started this response back in March and April of last year, that I kept hearing that public health official uh, and her concern ringing in my ears. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Rattay has been in this position, I think, for over 10 years. But it's this past year where she's really been called on to demonstrate the incredible leadership that she has during these months with compassion, with professionalism, explaining and reaching people, the people of Delaware, where they are, translating the public health science in a way that's understandable to ordinary Delawareans. So this is a award that's being presented to Dr. Rattay for her long years of service. But for me, it's, it's so much about the last year when she was called on to provide just incredible leadership and guidance to keep people of, of Delaware healthy and safe and alive. And we're not all the way home yet. <laughs> we still have a lot of work to do. But I wanna just thank her for her tremendous service, present this award remotely, kind of indicative of the world that we live in, the COVID-19 world, and thank her for a tremendous service to the people of the state of Delaware. Congratulations, Dr. Rattay, and thank you. I'm just so honored to uh, receive the support from the governor and from um, my friends and colleagues at the DHMIC. Um, I'm really, really happy to be with you all today. Um, my friends, my colleagues, I feel like I'm with my my people. And this year has been um, quite a quite a crazy year for all of us, right? And um, and I, I miss you all because I, uh, I have not been able to focus as much on the work of the DHMIC this year, but as um, uh, those who know me, you know that how deeply passionate I am about maternal and child health issues and about equity, equity in our state and addressing social determinants of health and the the, the years and the impacts of structural racism on our moms and our, our babies. And we've all seen it play out uh, during this, uh, this pandemic. Um, but I'm just so grateful to all of you for continuing to uh, do the hard work that, that you are all doing. 